A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this tutorial you will learn Blur text in a video Blur some portion of a video And Blur a moving object Let's jump in and start with the text blur effect. This is the text that we are going to blur. For this blur effect we need to add three filters. Mask Simple Shape, Blur Gaussian, and Mask Apply are the three filters that will be applied to produce this blur effect. Select the Gaussian Blur. Set its ratio to 100%. You can see this blur effect in the middle of the video. Click the Simple Shape Mask effect. Move the horizontal bar to the right side. Observe that the Gaussian blur starts moving horizontally to the right. Increase the percentage of the vertical attribute to bring the Gaussian blur down toward the text. Increase or decrease these value to adjust the Gaussian blur. Set the Gaussian Blur Ratio to around 50%. This is the final blur effect after setting the values. Let's give it a test run. That's nice. Now let's move on to the other blur effect. In this effect, we will blur the initial part of the video to hide a nasty scene. We will use the same three filters for this effect. Select the Mask Simple Shape filter. Set values of this filter as shown on the screen. You can set values for these parameters either using the sliders, or by typing in the values manually. Set width and height to 100% to blur the whole screen. Select the Gaussian Blur. Set the value to 100%. Then, click the keyframe icon. This blur effect will be implemented using keyframes. Right now the whole video is blurred. Take the playhead to the position where you want the blur to stay and then hit the keyframe icon. A new keyframe will be created. Note that the Gaussian Blur value at this point is 100%. Move the playhead a few frames forward and click the keyframe icon again to create a new keyframe. Set the Gaussian Blur value to 0. The 0 value will remove the blur effect at the last keyframe and onward. The video remains blurred from the first keyframe till the second one.
After touching the last keyframe, the blur effect is removed and the video is shown normally. This is the third blur effect that we are going to apply to this moving cyclist name. Add a video track on top of the existing one and add the same video clip to it. Select the upper video clip and apply Gaussian blur and crop rectangle filters to it. Keeping the crop rectangle selected, move the playhead at the beginning of the video and play it to make the filter's handles visible. Pause the video and adjust the rectangle to encompass the cyclist name. Hit the transparent button to see the background. Hit the keyframe icon to apply the keyframe. Place this first keyframe and the playhead at the beginning to start the blur effect from the beginning. Make sure that the name sits inside the blur boundaries. This is the thing that you must observe in this exercise every time you add a new keyframe. Add a new keyframe and adjust the text.
Here is the output of the keyframe settings. The blur rectangle moves along with the text. Finally, click the Gaussian Blur filter. Set a value for this filter to apply the blur. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.